Our third inductee, C. Oscar Baker, born in 1917 in Springfield. He worked for a, a strange group, WHIO Radio and Television, a group I'm not real familiar with, before coming to Pequa. And in Pequa, became uh, one of the owners and founders of WPTW AM Radio, served as president and general manager. I don't think we understand sometimes the change that things like this, technology that we're so familiar with, like radio, it was a whole new media set. We had had the newspaper, we had magazines, suddenly we have radio. You have to understand that before this, radio, uh, before the, the Second World War, radio was, you know, you got it from uh, Dayton, you got it from Cincinnati, and early, early radio, they read the time. It's now 8.29. Can you imagine trying to sell advertising on that? <laughs> Would you like the 8.45 slots? <laughs> but uh, he also was the president and general manager of Valley Antenna System, literally cable television. Again, a new technology, a new type of media that we had not had before. So, Mr. Baker brought to Pequa something that we had not had before. We had expanded media, and you can't really ask uh, for much more than that. And he, in his community sense, served with the as, uh, president of the United Way, the United Fund at that time, the director of the Board of uh, Mental Health. He truly took an active role in Pequa as well as starting our community on a new path uh, in communications. And it'll be interesting to see who in the next generation steps up for that next new communication system that will be before us. Accepting this award will be Larry Baker. Uh, Larry consulted with me on his tie, and I think that everything <laughs> came out very nicely. <laughs> Thank you. Jim told me I have three minutes. I didn't realize I was going to be talking to a family reunion. <laughs> First off, on behalf of the Oscar Baker family, we want to thank, offer a sincere thanks and express our gratitude to the citizens of Pickwick uh, for bestowing upon our dad this honor today. In 1960, Dad promised Mom that they'd move to Pickwick for 10 years and move back to Dayton. That didn't last very long. The warmth of Pickwick people really made both of them uh, choose Pickwick as their home for life, and truly they did that. Uh, with the warm encouragement that Dad, with warm encouragement, Dad did become active in the community with some of the things that Jen mentioned. Uh, I want to also mention his business. And he was active in communications associations, the Ohio Broadcasters, the National Association of Broadcasters, the Ohio Cable Television Association, which, which he was a founding member and first vice, pre vice president of that, of that group, and the National Cable Television Association. Now, okay, uh, when the decision was made to build the first cable television system in western Ohio, that's in western, the whole western part of the state. The closest operating system was in Finley, Ohio, when we turned that, that cable system on. He had to get a franchise, which was a license, literally to cross streets and hold the city harmless in the event that there was a, a liability issue with the cables that we were going to build. Uh, he did that in 1964, after being in Pickford for four years. His honesty, loyalty, and integrity made that happen because the day he walked into this town, he demonstrated those, those uh, what's the good word? Characters, characters characteristics. Uh, and that, that helped him, uh, helped him get this. He also had a group of local investors that, were, that believed in Dad, believed in the process, and believed in the new technology. And they, they built the system, and ultimately there were 
I think nine, ten, or maybe eleven of us uh, that, that were owners at one time or another in the, in the business. Uh, he encourages staff to be involved in the community. Uh, many organizations, he supported them with his time and talents that organizations that the staff were involved in. Uh, and I mentioned it earlier, his honesty, loyalty, and a sense of humor. And I've got to demonstrate that in, in two ways. When I was a kid growing up in Dayton, Dad's client was the Dayton Coca-Cola Bottling Company. We did not have Pepsi-Cola products in the house. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> when he moved to Piqua, Coca-Cola Bottling Company was his client. And again, no Pepsi, no Mountain Dew. It was all Coca-Cola products. There's another one that I, I just threw in, development of staff. Dad had a young college engineering student working for him doing the night shift at WPTW. And the guy was smart, had a great voice, and couldn't read. Dad made him record the news. He could finish with the news at, at 6 o'clock. At 6.05, he started recording the 7 o'clock news. When 7 o'clock news was over, he started with the 8 o'clock news. He is a night newsman at 700 uh, WLW in, uh, in Cincinnati. He developed from being nurtured by the pop. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention is high school athletics and radio. And the kids in Piqua that who were involved in sports had an opportunity that the Dayton kids never had. And that's to be on television, radio and television on the weekends, on the, the weekends that, that they play football and basketball and, and these types of things. So he was involved, he was loyal, he was an entrepreneur <laughs> and my buddy. Once again, I want to offer the most sincere thanks from the, the entire Oscar Baker family for the honor bestowed today.